Hello and welcome back to my channel. So this week I've been to Sainsbury's and I've done like a half weekly shop because I've already been to Iceland and B&M this week. That video should already be up. So if you haven't seen that one, go and watch that and then this one will make a little bit more sense. But this is why I haven't brought a great deal of like proper food, if you know what I mean. So I'll take through everything I've bought, let you know how much things were where I can and then let you know what I spent at the end plus some of our meals for next week. So we've got to start off with some onions. I think these are a pound and they're actually nice big ones this week. I hate it when they're really tiny because they take forever to peel. I got some avocados for some avocado on toast at the weekend, just for like a nice little breakfast. And I also have got some closed cut mushrooms. Potato wise, I got two bags of these Vivaldi white potatoes. I'm gonna be making a toad in the hole, a shepherd's pie, and I'm also gonna be doing a, oh, like jacket potatoes. So I got two bags of those. They were on the nectar deal, two for three pound. Thought that was quite good. I got some bananas and some seedless grapes. Two lots of the Taste the Difference Easy Peelers. These were two nets for three pound. I got some carrots for hummus and also for the shepherd's pie. It's not going to be shepherd's pie or cottage pie. It's going to be pork mince pie, whatever that is. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm calling it shepherd's pie. I got a cucumber, um, one iceberg lettuce. These are still 79p at the moment. And then some of the Kanzi apples. These are on the nectar deal for £1.60 for six. And they're like really nice and crispy ones. Crispy, does that make sense? Yeah, I know what I mean. <laughs> so I also got some... I also got some cooking bacon, there's 500 grams in here and it was one pound, which is a really good price when you look at it. It actually looks like, wow, that wind is really bad out there today. Um, yeah, it's actually quite decent bacon and that's a lot for a pound. So I'm actually gonna be making a quiche. I'm gonna have to show you now because I found this really, really funny the other day. So when I was, like when I was much, <laughs> when I was younger, I used to make this quiche all the time from BBC Good Food. It's actually called an egg and bacon tart. But this is the this is the quiche recipe I've always used. I used to cook it when I lived at home and I cooked it like when we moved into our first place. When my mum used to have friends over for the evening, I used to make these quiches then as well. And it's just something I've always done and I actually kept the recipe. And I'm going to make this this week because we haven't had it for years and years and years. And I looked at it the other day and you can see it's been well loved, it's absolutely gross. But I printed it out on the 19th of October 2002. So like 22 years ago was the first time I printed this out. And I'd obviously made it before that, so I wanted to print it to keep it. But yeah, I put it in a plastic envelope, but you can see how many times I must have reused and remade this quiche. And I just found the recipe and I was like, I'm making that. It's literally just a cheese and bacon like quiche, but I've never used any other recipe. I just thought that was really funny. I know it's rambling, but a 22 year old piece of paper with my recipe on, that's, I'm gonna write this out and put this in like a recipe book because that's one that's gotta be passed down, isn't it really? It's just made me laugh how old it is. I felt like it was only like last week. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna make homemade quiche as well this week. I got two lots of pork mince for the shepherd's, what would you call it? It's not a shepherd's pie because that is lamb. It's not a cottage pie because that's beef. Um, I don't know what pork pie is. <laughs> I know what pork pie is. It's one of those days today. I got some chicken breast for chicken salads with flatbreads. Um, I also bought some Thai curry paste, so I might do another red Thai curry. Free range eggs, I've got 10 of those. Baked beans, these are at 2.35, I believe, for four. Just some of the Stanford Street Co sausages. These are just really good, even though they're not the best quality. They just work really well in wraps and things for breakfast, but I'm gonna use better quality ones for a toad in the hole. I've got a barista coconut and a barista oat. These were £1.50 on the nectar deal. I got the boys one of these each. So I got one rice noodles. This is the Itsu chicken ramen. That was a pound instead of 185. I got a mac and cheese sriracha chilli. That was £1.30 instead of 150. And then a, just a plain mac and cheese. I think that was a pound just for the boys to have at the weekend. Some pickling vinegar because I seem to have a ton of eggs and I've just gone and bought more but I am making a quiche so I'm going to need quite a few. So I'm going to make some pickled eggs obviously. <laughs> I've got four tins of soup. These are 62p at the moment and they're actually really really nice. So I got two spiced lentil and tomato and two tomato and three bean. Um, they're really thick and they've got a really nice flavour. I've just got some normal distilled malt vinegar. Can someone tell me, is this what people mean when they say white vinegar? Like, obviously it's white. Well, it's not white, it's clear, but 
Um, apparently it's really good for cleaning things. Is this the right one or have I bought the wrong one? Is this the one you put on chips? Did it have to say white vinegar or not? I don't know. So if you could let me know if I've bought the right one. If not, I'll be putting it on my chips. Red Thai curry paste. I've used this twice in the last couple of weeks and this is a really good one. It's £2 at the moment and I think it lasts about six weeks once you've opened it apparently as well. So that's pretty good. So I got one of those. I got some toast and jam tea. These are my absolute favourite tea bags. If you have toast and jam tea bag with oat milk, perfect cup of tea in my eyes. It depends, obviously, preferences are very, very different. But for me, the toast, the jam and the creamy oat just doesn't even taste like a cup of tea. It's lovely. £2.30 for those. Cayenne pepper, that was £1.10. I got a tomato ketchup. Um, this one looks really dark, actually. I think that was £1.10 as well. And then I got some baking block. Uh, this was a pound. I just wanted like a margarine to use for pastry and things. We're actually going to make some, what else are we making? Oh, we're going to make some muffins as well, some savoury muffins. And we might make some focaccia. I don't know. I feel like baking, even though I never really bake, but I'm going to do some of that, I think, at the weekend. So I got some of that. We got some more cheddar cheese because we just go through a lot, especially if we're making things like quiches and jacket potatoes and that. This was on offer. I think it was £4, which works out about seven fifty a kilo. They do, not Pilgrim's Choice, what's the other one? Uh, Cathedral City have now brought out a Red Leicester and a smoked cheddar as well, which I did see today, and that was on offer in Sainsbury's. So if you're interested in trying those, I am going to be buying some, but I didn't really want Red Leicester or smoke this week, so I resisted, but interesting to know that they've brought those out. I don't know if I said pepper armies. They were £2, I think, on the offer for five. Cheese strings, £1.25 for four. So I've got two of those. I've got a hummus and we've got a little tradition now on a Sunday we tend to sit down and play some like games and things, board games and it's actually really nice. Sometimes like all the boys join in, rarely to be fair. <laughs> Most of the times there's one or two of them but we make like popcorn or sausage rolls or peanuts and put things out and then we just sit and play things like Uno or Monopoly Go or um, there's like a four square thing game that Steve got for Christmas or a ticket to ride, that kind of thing. It's just quite nice for an hour before like dinner time just to sit while the dinner's cooking and play a game. So why did that turn into hummus? Oh yeah, because I've got some carrots and cucumber and we can have some like hummusy dip things. <laughs> That's what I'm doing with the chicken. I bought some creme fraiche because I wanted to make some marry me chicken. I haven't made it for a really long time and I really fancied making it. But you do need sun dried tomatoes in it. £3.30 for a tiny jar in Sainsbury's. I was like, that just seems ridiculous. So I'm either going to slow roast my own tomatoes that I've got in the fridge. If you put them in the oven, oh actually, I bet one of these things does it. I wonder if the air fryer, does my air fryer have a dehydrate function? I reckon I could either air fry or pressure cook on a different setting my tomatoes and almost make them sun dried if you know what I mean. they won't be sun dried but they'll be like dehydrated i'm gonna have a look but if not i'm just gonna really low and slow roast some tomatoes until they go really nice and sticky maybe wow. in some balsamic vinegar or a balsamic glaze i'm just gonna make my own so i'm not paying three pound thirty for about that big it was ridiculous so i got some of the smarty desserts these were 175 for four oh, another one of the coconut yogurts this was one pound 85 and you get like three portions out of that I've been loving cooking rice in my pressure cooker, so I thought I would give brown a go. I know it takes quite a lot longer, so I have to adjust the cooking time, but I thought brown rice might be nice for a change. Pasta shapes. If you're looking for cheap pasta, this is a really good price in Sainsbury's. If I'm making like a pasta bake or something, then I'll use this pasta, but if I want something more like... Um, like a carbonara or maybe a spaghetti i tend to buy like the more expensive one but this is 82p for a whole kilo and once you're making a pasta bake it really doesn't make much difference so i thought that was really good got some of these prawn cocktail lentil triangles i thought we could put those out as well when we have our little game night got some hot chocolate and salted caramel hot cross buns just because they sound so good don't they these are one pound fifty for four um and they just sound so nice chunks of dark chocolate salted caramel and brown sugar for extra indulgence so yeah i thought they looked really good the muffins we make usually we make them like they're a vegan muffin but i'm gonna kind of play with the ingredients to see if i can use something instead of tofu and also less oil because they do contain a ton of oil 
um, but they also have flaxseed in them so I bought some milled golden flaxseed this was two pound and it's great anyway you can put it in porridges and on salads and all that kind of thing so I've got some of that um, I have made the muffins before if you go back and watch one of my meal prep videos where I've like prepped food for the freezer or something I made them in there and they're really really good so I'm going to try those then I got some little sweet treats so I've got some chewy caramel bars and some nutty nugget bars these are a pound for five I think the ones in Audi are 109 and can someone remember do you get five in the Audi ones or do you get more I can't really remember but if not that's pretty good for a pound isn't it to get five of those they are only little but they're fine fruit pastels one pound fifty for four I got some fizzy bubblegum bottles. These are just like the little bags. They're like 70 grams. They used to do these three for a pound, didn't they? But they're like 70p each now, obviously. Curly Whirlies, five for pound twenty-five. These are really nice with a cup of tea, actually. I got Steve some of these Tony Chocolonely little bits. Okay, sorry the dog's drinking. Did everybody, probably, because I'm just a bit stupid and everyone probably already knows this, do you realise it doesn't say Chocolonely? It says chocker lonely, as in like a lonely person. I had no idea. I had to look, look again, and then look again. I did not realise it said choco lonely. I always pronounce it Tony's chocoloni. So let me know in the comments if you knew it was choco lonely, and I'm the only stupid person that cannot read, <laughs> or if you also thought that said choco lonely. It just makes sense, doesn't it? Why is it choco lonely? What's lonely about it? Do you eat it when you're on your own? Like, I don't get it. Anyway, these were £2 instead of £3.50, so I got them. But it does, I, I just stunned, absolutely stunned I was. The other thing that stunned me, and I, it stunned me so much, I actually got my phone out. I noticed it the other day, and I thought, I said to Steve this morning, actually, it's got to be a typo. There's no way. You know the deodorant I normally buy him? I'll insert the clip now. £5 five pound if you go back a couple of months in my food hauls you'll see i used to buy it for two pound 25 they then put it up i think to 250 or 275 and they price locked it five pound for one tin of deodorant i mean i know price increases are happening and i know things do have to go up but why does a deodorant have to jump over double in price it's like it just seems insane. What has happened that makes deodorant need to be double the price that it was? £5 for one tin. I, yeah, I just can't believe it. So anyway, he's got this one. This was £1.75 on offer. 72 hour fresh protection and he'll have to like it or lump it because I'm not paying £5. I'm sorry. that <laughs> I just refuse on principle. Um, and then I went and bought some expensive bread. So I got some Jason's sourdough, the great white. This is supposed to be one of the nicest sourdough breads you can get. And I love the fact it's pre-sliced. It wasn't that expensive. It's like two pound. Um, but it, I think it's like a half loaf. But when you look at it, it's really wide. So it's, it's a, a half loaf, but massive slices. So it's probably about a loaf, isn't it? Anyway, this was two pound. And I'm going to do avocados and poached eggs on toast at the weekend and then i also got some doritos these are price locked but they'll probably be 28 pound next week but these are price locked at three pound 15 which i don't think is bad for 12 packs of doritos that's a pretty good price because these in my eyes are like premium crisps so the boys love them as well does anyone else like my little um that's got salty caramel syrup in there that we put in our coffees oh, that's so cute i got that in primark and it was two pound i'm still looking for a tray to put everything on and some canisters but i just thought that was so cute for two pound and then we can just pour our little salted caramel into our coffees so nothing to do with my shopping haul but i like it anyway that is everything i bought in sainsbury's like i said we're going to be making a marry me chicken with my own sun-dried tomatoes because i'm not paying that kind of money i'm going to be making a toad in the hole with the sausages from the freezer i think i'll show you those actually so these are the sausages in the freezer we've got bramley apple pork sausages they were a pound we've got uh, Bramley apple pork sausages they were also a pound we've got caramelised onion pork sausages also a pound oh and another Bramley apple pork sausages which were a pound so so those are what I'm going to use in the toad in the hole um, the other thing I was going to say is I have these brie and cranberry tarts we got these brie and cranberry tarts. We bought them on offer. They were really cheap. They're like little parcels. I don't know if I put them in a video. So they're topped with tangy cranberries and crunchy pumpkin seeds. What shall I do with these? Shall I literally just serve them like that with some like rocket on the side or something? 
don't know not sure um they're in little foil things need to think something to do with those obviously just eat them but i'm just maybe a salad or vegetables they don't really go with the gravy do they so yeah if you have any idea then i'd be grateful but yeah so that's the sausages we're going to be using so we'll be using those for the toad in the hole i'm going to be making a shepherd's pie a marami chicken and we're going to do a chicken and like flatbread salad as well um and then jacket potatoes that was the other one and the boys will probably have like battered fish portions and chips or something um on that day because they're not keen on jackets for some reason strange children one of the boys loves them the other two don't really like them so anyway that's everything i bought i actually spent 92 pound i believe in the end after i'd like scanned my nectar card so yeah hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please leave me a thumbs up and i'll be back really really soon with another one take care guys did you make it did you break free did you manage to be who you want to be maybe somewhere you think about me too